So now that we know how to get on the bike and get off the bike, how to turn it on and turn it off, what we're gonna do is get on the bike, turn it on, and then we're gonna find the friction zone and we're gonna play a little bit with that front brake. We're not gonna use throttle, we already did that, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do the mounting process. Squeeze that front brake, gonna lift that leg over, stand up, so I got my feet planted, turn the handlebars with the front brake still squeezed, get this side stand up, and now I am ready to start the engine. So squeezing with the front brake still, turn on the engine ignition with the key, I have my kill switch, my engine shutoff switch, whatever you want to call it, on. I'm going to go ahead while squeezing the front brake and the clutch lever, press the engine start. Okay, now I'm going to release the front brake and slowly release that clutch lever. And here we go. Okay, so without putting it in gear, without doing any of that stuff, let's turn left, let's turn right, let's turn left. And if you notice, you don't hear this. That's because my wrist is flat, okay? So if I'm turning left, turning right, and you start hearing that, it's because your right wrist is not staying flat. So your goal now, after practicing with the engine off, is to practice with it on to get that auditory feedback, okay? So there you go. Just practice this and look left to turn left, look right, turn right. And after you do that a couple times, let's do the reverse procedure of engine shutoff switch. Go ahead and squeeze that front brake. Go ahead and put that side stand down. Go ahead and lean it on the side stand. Turn the handlebars to the left. Leg over, release the brake, turn off the engine, walk away. That's all you have to do for that stage. So now that we understand how the bike turns on, how to mount it, how to get it all ready to go, now we need to actually know how to put it in gear and find the friction zone. This is a very, very, very important skill to know and it's going to be the foundation for almost all the skills you do on this motorcycle. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to find out where it's at, how to use it, and get ready for motorcycle skills in the future. So it's the same process, obviously getting on. Okay, so I'm gonna squeeze that front brake, right leg over, gonna go ahead and get both feet on the ground. I'm gonna go ahead and straighten the handlebars, side stand up. Let's go ahead and turn the bike on. So now we got the engine ignition on, I got the engine shutoff switch on, so it's gonna actually turn on. So now I am gonna squeeze in the clutch lever, squeeze a little bit of the brake, because I'm still holding it, engine start, okay? So now that we have the engine start, I'm gonna go ahead and release this clutch lever. You notice how it's not gonna move. So part of the friction zone, and what's gonna happen here is that we need to get ourselves going. That's the point of it. So what we have to actually do is put ourselves in gear. Remember when we did the familiarization? All it is is one down, one fully up to go to second, but one down to go to first. So I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze in this clutch lever. I'm gonna go ahead and raise my left foot, press down. Okay, if it doesn't go in all the way, you have to rock it back and forth maybe. So if I let go right now, it's going to stall and it's going to scare you. Okay, so watch what happens. That's all that's going to happen. That happens at stoplights. It happens when you're about to take off for a U-turn or a tight turn from a stop. And all you have to do, squeeze in that clutch lever, engine start switch. That's it. But if you let go of it again, it's going to keep doing that. So squeeze, start. Okay, so friction zone, all that is, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Friction zone, all it is, is allowing it to get to a level where it catches smoothly. This is catching it very hard and rough. Okay, we don't wanna do that. So we're gonna squeeze it in, start it. So what we wanna do is actually start it smoothly. Let me go ahead and go back for you. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna slowly release it and it's gonna to start to catch it smoothly. I'm not using my legs to move forward. The bike is doing that, I'm just walking with it. So I'm gonna squeeze it again to stop that. That is the friction zone. It's typically in between, if you do one, two, three, four, five, let's go ahead and put it in neutral so you can see that. This is five completely open. This is zero completely closed. One, two, three, four, five. Typically the friction zone is in between two and four. Five is completely open. So let's go ahead and put it back into first gear. You notice how I just squeezed it and then pressed down. I'm gonna hold it like this. I want you to hold it overhand. I'm just showing you so you, my hand's out of the way. So right here, there's one, there's two. You can, you can start to feel it moving, you can see it. At two, it's gonna move just a tiny bit. Three, four, squeeze it in to stop it. 
Okay, I want you to have both hands on the handlebars during this process. So now that we know how to get it to the friction zone and then squeezing it to stop ourselves, it's not technically stopping, it's just removing power. So now we need to know how to stop ourselves. That is where the front brake is. So now let's go ahead and hold it overhand and I'm gonna get to position two to three. And when I feel uncomfortable, I'm going to squeeze this, the clutch lever, and I'm going to squeeze the front brake smoothly. So let's go ahead and get it to two, three, squeeze the front brake, squeeze the clutch. Let's go ahead and walk it back. So I'm gonna release the clutch, one, two, three, squeeze the front brake, squeeze the clutch. Go ahead and release the front brake and walk it back while holding the clutch. Same thing with the friction zone. One, two, squeeze the front brake, squeeze the clutch. Let's go ahead and go back. I know my head is cut off, but you know what? I'm not important. So let's go ahead and do it one more time. So release to two, to three. Oh, I'm moving quicker now. Squeeze the front brake, squeeze the clutch. Perfect. Now if we are done practicing and we're done doing that, what we do is engine shut off switch. That's why I like having it next to my right thumb. So if I let go, it's not going to do anything because the engine is off. The battery is still on. So let's go through the process of dismounting. Squeeze that front brake, side stand down, lean it on the side stand, turn the handlebars, swing the leg over, release the front brake, turn off the bike. This is all I want you to do for the very first day. I want you to be familiar with the bike and understand how the clutch, the front brake, and then the shifter works, okay? All we're doing is going into first gear just to get into that friction zone. I don't expect you to go into second, third, fourth, and fifth gear right now. That's not what we're doing. If you noticed, I could do everything within just a small section. I don't have to go anywhere. So this is something you can actually practice in your garage, in a parking space at an apartment, or you can go somewhere like in the middle of nowhere so you don't bother anybody when you're filming or practicing. So that's what I'm doing here. I just want you guys to be prepared and familiar with the bike before we actually jump into parking lot exercises. This is a long chapter. This is going to be a long video, but this whole series is going to get you ready for the road, confident for the road, and I want you guys to be smart riders. So think for yourselves, follow the smart rider principles, and if you want to win this bike, remember we're giving it away. Check out the link in the description.